In the previous chapter, we looked at global modes and how we can use those for doing the very basic setup functions of gain and pan and putting a low cut filter on a channel and moving across the console in a horizontal mode as if we were working on an analog console. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at what we call channel mode. Now channel mode um, replicates the other method of operation which is when you work up an analog channel strip and you've got auxiliary send and you've got um, EQ but we've also got the ability to add a compressor and a gate to every single channel on the console. So it's as if we've got a very long analog channel strip with all these additional features. So in order to do this, what we have to do is we have to select the channel we're going to work on. And in the master section here, we have two rows of encoders. And the top section works as an EQ, a four band fully parametric EQ. And the bottom section is laid out exactly the same way as an analog gate and an analog compressor. So now all I have to do is to select the channel I'm going to work on. So if I select a channel over here, which is the snare drum, it tells me over here that it's a snare. And this now becomes a four band, fully parametric EQ for the channel that I selected. So starting on the left hand side, I have low, low mid, high mid, high. And each one of those bands runs from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So each band of EQ has three controls. You have the frequency select in the middle, you have cut and boost, and you have um, a bandwidth control, or it can be switched to be a shelving filter. And you have an EQ in and out switch over here. This lower row of encoders over here, as we saw earlier, can be set up to be a dynamics processor. So if I select the input dynamics button in the lower row section, you'll see there that these now become mapped to be controllers for a gate over here and a compressor over there, the layout of which is very, very similar to an analog style gate and an analog style compressor. So now, just to recap, if I select input EQ to this top row, I've now got a four band fully parametric EQ. If I select input dynamics to the bottom row, I've now got an analog style gate, and an analog style compressor over here, and any channel I now select will now respond and I can process that channel. So we've configured this area here, the upper row and the lower row, to be an input EQ and an input dynamics processor. We've shown how to select the channels to that. Now we're going to look at these channel mode buttons over here. This light silver section over here is called the channel mode section. And basically, anything that you do here, you have to select a channel first. So if I select the snare drum, I now have all of these switches available to that channel. So we've just set up the EQ, so we can toggle the EQ in and out, and we can switch the gate in or out, or the compressor in or out for that channel. And immediately we can see the gate acting on the selected channel, and we can see gain reduction as well. So also in the channel mode section, we have all the other buttons that you'd expect to find on an analog console. So we have phantom power, phase reverse, we can switch the high and low cut filters in or out, the gate in, gate out that we've just looked at, compressor in, compressor out, EQ in, and then the left, right, and center routing to the mix buses. So we've had a look now at how to work in channel mode, which is the equivalent of working on a vertical channel strip on an analog console, and adding EQ and dynamics to a selected channel, and how to add switches that we commonly find, phantom power, uh, phase reverse, switching in the gates and the compressors. So to end off this section, what we need to do is find out how we can name a channel and also how we can create a stereo pair. So let's have a look at that.